Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 22, hopefully, of the Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, subscribe, and join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's vlog. And today, I'm still in Montevideo. Uh, I'm in, I think, Independence Plaza. Uh, and you can kind of see all the fancy buildings, I guess, uh, being very independency. Oh, yeah, uh, that's it. That's a little bit of a, you know, a swoop. Uh, yeah. All right, let's, let's solve the problem. Let's go. Hey, hey, everybody. Here's me and the sunset and some photos. That's it. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is day 23, I think, uh, of the November Deco Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's form. I'm still here in uh, Montevideo. Sometimes I say Montenegro for some reason, but no, Montevideo. Uh, yeah, it looks like we have another medium for, or a medium problem. We'll try to do it quick. As you can tell, I'm still in the Airbnb in uh, Montevideo. So I'm still trying to be you know, respectable. It's 10, 30 p.m. and not be super loud. Uh, all right. Let's take a look and see how it goes. Okay. Uh, okay, so we have array nums. Maximum possible for, possible sum of elements of the array such that it is divisible by 3. 618. Okay. 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 So I think in this particular problem, right? I mean, this could be tricky for sure. Um, but the key thing to note is that the same thing that we learned from yesterday, right? Which is that mod 3 or, you know, uh, yeah, mod 3, there's only three possibilities, right? 0, 1, or 2. Um, and there are a couple of combinations here, right? Well, the, the divisible by three ones, you want to keep all of them. Hope, hope that's obvious. I don't have to explain too much. Um, the ones and twos, then now you have to match. And then you have to match on trying to figure out um, I don't know. I don't think greedy is, I mean, there's probably a greedy component, but not greedy by itself. Um, it's just a combination of like twos and ones and stuff like that. And I don't, there may be a simpler solution, but the way that I would think about it is with dynamic programming. And it is just uh, tech, no tech, right? So you can think of it that way. Um, you can speed it up by taking out all the divisible by three numbers, but, and there are probably some heuristic that you can probably do to make it faster in either case, but, uh, but honestly for me, uh, that's what I'm gonna do because I'm trying to get, get it done as soon as possible because I can't really talk loudly or possibly that long, so let's go, right? Uh, You know what? You should optimize this by taking out the multiples of threes, but I'm not going to for this problem just because it's easier to write without it. Uh, I'm not going to go over dynamic programming this video because I already told you it's kind of crazy, right? So you have to index, and then you just have to, um, I don't know what you want to call it, mod, the M for modular, right? So then if index is equal to n, we process all numbers. And if m is equal to 0, then we return 0. Else, we just return negative infinity, because that means that it's not something that we're going to consider. Right? And then now, OK. Yeah, and then now we just take no take, right? Tick, right? So best is go to f index plus one, m plus uh, nums. I uh, cannot type nums of index mod three plus uh, nums of index, right? And then no tick is just press is equal to max. 
as f of index plus one uh, m right because that doesn't change and then that's it uh what is the complexity here right our index is zero to n m is just zero to two and so this is, and each of these operations are uh, each of the inputs we only do all of one operations so this makes it all of n total time n space right and that should be it so let's go do I have to model anything i guess not just some of numbers uh yeah looks okay let's give it some minute hopefully i didn't make any silly mistakes because i'm you know yeah uh like i said there are a lot of optimizations that you can do um and this is a little bit on the slow end but hopefully that gives you an idea to play around and uh yeah how did i do it last time i probably did it same thing right yeah i mean same idea but i did it bottoms up uh that's all i have for today let me know what you think thanks for watching uh see you back in buenos aires stay good stay healthy to your mental health i'll see y'all later take care bye bye